Back here at home, at least one person thinks the Houston County Sheriff's Office is taking sides in the race for a new sheriff, and the district attorney says someone outside the county should look into it. Uh, the four men running for office, Jimmy Dunn, Will Kendall, Matt Moulton, and Slate Simmons, are running to replace the nation's longest-serving sheriff. Fariha Abrar is continuing to follow this election closely, so what is new this morning, Fariha? Well, it all started with this anonymous letter. About a month ago, someone mailed it to the Houston County Sheriff's Office, the District Attorney's Office, and some other agencies, including us, at 13 WMAZ. It lists some complaints against the Sheriff's Office, and it suggests that they're improperly taking sides in the Sheriff's race. Now, District Attorney Will Kendall is asking for an outside investigation of the allegations because he says he can't look into them himself since he's a conflict of interest. An anonymous letter arrived around Valentine's Day, and it was signed from a deeply concerned citizen. It suggests the Houston County Sheriff's Office is using its resources to support Matt Moulton's campaign for office, and it lists 11 points. There's some pretty staunch allegations contained in that letter. We've addressed one of the complaints already about why Moulton got to hold his campaign announcement at the sheriff's office. Some of the other allegations, that deputies appeared in uniform at Moulton's rally and posed for pictures, that the county public works department helped set up the event, and that some sheriff's office leaders campaigned for Moulton while on the job. Houston County District Attorney Will Kendall says he takes allegations like these sincerely. But being a candidate in the same race for which the allegations, you know, arise from, um, that means I have a legal conflict of interest as district attorney. He's handing it off to the state's prosecuting attorney's counsel and the state ethics commission because he's also running for sheriff. There are, are things in there that there are some that are accurate, but there's a lot in there that is not accurate. Moulton's a lieutenant overseeing the criminal investigations division at the sheriff's office. His supervisor, Chief Deputy Billy Rape, says the concerned citizen is wrong. Well, I thought it was a bunch of BS. Kendall's letter to the state says he takes all citizen complaints seriously, but he says he can't investigate the complaints or act on them. I, I also can't be in a position where I violate my own integrity, morals, or the law as district attorney and then tell people that I want to be sheriff because that doesn't make sense, right? Um, it's not the right thing to do, uh, and I'm sure there'll be critics as to, you know, me sending this letter off, but the reality is, is that that is my legal obligation. Um, I don't get a choice in that matter. That's a violation of law or some moral or illegal something. I, I, I'm not sure where all this is. Well, I know where it's coming from and why it's coming, but I don't understand why it's such a big issue. The prosecuting attorney's counsel told me that they are not an investigating agency. However, executive director Peter Scandalakis confirmed he and Chairman David Amati from the Georgia Ethics Commission are speaking about the matter. For more on the letter, the complaints on it, and Kendall's letter to the state, you'll find this article online at 13WMAC.com. Back to you. Thank you, Fariha. Now, four Republicans and one Democrat are running for Sheriff Colin Talton's seat. Democrat Arthur Willis will go head-to-head -head with the Republican candidate who will be chosen after the May primaries.